Hey, hey, my community, Jeff here, and I am going to jump on another contest because we love doing contests, not just because there's prizes, not because we really seek to win, want to win per se. It's mostly about supporting other channels, and I've found a lot of channels this way by seeing other people enter contests. That's kind of why we do it, to support other channels and to uh, bring attention to them so you may not know about them. So this one is for the Vinyl Lounge. This is for Olivier with the Vinyl Lounge. Uh, he's got this nice, well-kept beautiful beard and so this contest is based on beards the prize is based on beards and one of the things for the contest aside from showing 10 albums is to have a, a uh, shout out to a channel with another vc member that has a beard so there are plenty to choose from or you can do one without if they you know because the prize can be for either or so i'm shouting out to thomas over merciful metal Mainly because I just saw a video by him today. So it's kind of came to my mind. I'm like, hey, he's got a thinner beard, you know, well kept, very well kept gentleman there showing all kinds of killer metal. So check out his channel, link below. Um, I pulled 10 albums. I thought it might be tough, but then I found out it really wasn't. Um, I didn't want to dip into the like 70s classic rock stuff because I knew I could find them there. I said, let's see how, how hard it might be to find it in modern hard rock and metal and it really wasn't that hard at all there's one or two that may not fit that category but for the most part now i also found that most of the albums i pulled are recent purchases and a good majority of those i've never shown on the channel before so you're really seeing new stuff here uh, anyway we'll get right into some of them you've seen but most of them i think are fairly new so first one just came in the mail actually the day before i recorded this so a mighty win the soundtrack if you know what this movie is, if you know who these people are, star-studded cast. I love this movie. I love the soundtrack. I love these three guys and all that they do. And if you know who they are, you know what I mean. I still need the main album that these three guys appeared on that is really, well, it's not super hard to find, but it's not too cheap. Anyway, and as you can see here, the bass player for the Folksman has a nice Amish-looking beard going on there. And actually, Mitch from Mitch and Mickey has a little soul patch there. So we got two bearded gentlemen there and a star-studded cast. Funny movie. Actually, I love the thing. They've done a lot of movies with these same similar people. And literally, just the other night, I pulled up, was looking online to see what I could find easily to stream, and I found the movie for your consideration. Most of the same people. Great stuff. Fun to watch and, you know, to delve back into that. Now, okay, this next one I know I have not shown. Pull this up. Legend Revisited. Legend were a band that put out one album in 1979, kind of a proggy rock album of that point. And then that was about all we heard from them. Well, fast forward to the late to now. This is a 2024 release. I'm not sure exactly when it was recorded, but uh, some of the members got back together and did Legend Revisited and recorded a new album. And this came in so on Cult Metal Classic Records. And as you can see on the cover, the little guy on the cover has a beard, but that doesn't always count. We got the uh, bass player here. He's got a big, long, goatee-looking thing. And then the drummer here also, likewise, has a beard there in the drawings. Fun stuff. I will say one critique. shouldn't even mention it, but whatever. Cult Metal Classics, they come in these resealable bags. And this is probably one of the first times in forever that I've ever seen a resealable bag where the sticky part is on the flap, making it near impossible to open and take the album out without getting stuck. So I will be probably getting rid of that anyway this one came in the other day what more showing because it's just a f whole filler uh dropped on amazon so i grabbed it may show it on an amazon drop price rate the nickelback silver side up you know old album one of the older albums never again uh you know uh, da, 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 you, how you remind me were the big hits and of course back in the day chad had a beard there nowadays he's more clean shaven and all well kept love their new stuff too but back in the day there you go all right this one i showed um this is the new one from except humanoid and we got three one two one two three uh, bearded gentlemen in there so killer stuff there and i know i have not shown this one before under the crooked claw by bat I've shown the first couple bad albums over the years. They put out most of the albums are independently released, but this one is on Century Me Nuclear Blast Records. So they are a band from literally up the road about an hour and a half from here, up in the Richmond, Virginia area. 
Um, Ryan Waste, one of the guys from Municipal Waste, which you may have heard about, Thrash Band from the same area. So it's a couple, it's got some ties with them, you know, and it's got him and a couple new guys and they do this and it's kind of thrashy also. And you can see here that Mr. Waste has a beard and everything too. So great new album. The first couple albums were more, well, there was like an EP and an album, but that's a full album then. Another one I have not shown, When Angels Kill, Fifth Angel. This came in not too long ago. It was a, uh, it was on sale, dropped in price uh, through another dealer. And so I grabbed that. Also on Nuclear Blast Records. Nuclear Blast had a sale recently. That's actually how I got some of these. That's right. I didn't show that. Nuclear Blast sale. Anyway, in here we've got one, two, three bearded gentlemen there. There we go. Excellent album too. Excellent. If you haven't heard the new one from Fifth Angel, definitely check it out. I showed this one. This was back around my birthday. This is a new one from UDO. And similar to the except, we've got one, two, three guys in there sporting beards. Actually, the photo and everything, I mean, just the way, I guess you got five guys standing in the gatefold on the except album and then five guys in the Udo album, <laughs> formerly of except. I don't know. Interesting. I guess there's only so much you can do when you take pictures there. I don't recall showing this. I might have, but I really kind of don't think I did. The Passion of Dionysus, a new one from Virgin Steel. Virgin Steel been around since the 80s. I've been following them for a lot of stuff. I pick up vinyl whenever I can. This one was a beautiful purple uh, double record set that dropped down into the teens on Amazon. Again, another Amazon price drop, which I don't think I showed. On the cover, singer David there. Uh, looks like he's trying to be, uh, I don't know if he's being crucified as much as he is being tortured or something he's got a beard there and there he is on the back with the same beard so there you go bearded all right this one i have not shown this is millennial rain i showed they have two other albums before this this is their most recent i bought this and i don't think i ever got around to showing it this is the second album with the female singer the first time I had a male singer and as you can see there uh i want to say he's probably the drummer or bass player anyway he's got a beard there actually looks a little bit like olivia he's got the you know because he's no hair on top, all the hair on the bottom. Cool stuff. Kind of power metal band from Texas. I really dig them. And this one I did show because I talked about this being probably one of my favorite albums of the year so far. And that's Renouncement by Motivic. It's got this ancient old man with a big beard on the cover. And he's all, oh, you know, is he wise? Is he evil? Who knows? But if that doesn't count, both of the guys in the two-man band. It's a two-man band. And then they have guests that do other instruments and stuff. And uh, they both are sporting beards there, if you can see that. So there you go, 10 beards on albums uh, and one shout out. And you know, John, jump on board, have some fun, pull some records, show some records, get on the contest. You got until October, into October before he's gonna do the drawing. And we'll see you next time. Rock on and rock hard.